Hello friends. In the last video, we looked at AWT button and the action listener. So here in this example, we are going to look at AWT button, action listener, as well as action event. So in this video, we are going to create three AWT buttons. Then we will provide action performed handler. After that, we will try to know which button was generating the action event. In the previous example, we used only one button. So we directly written code in the action performed to set a text box text. So we actually set a, uh, a greeting text in the action performed handler. But here, in order to know which button got clicked, we need to use the action event. All right, let us start. This video uses the already created AWT frame window. So to know how to create AWT frame window, refer playlist 04 Java AWT. So that's the playlist name 04 Java AWT. So the very first video tells, that's the base video, which tells how to create a frame window. So can I refer the video here. So there is no link here, you have to go to the channel and um, then uh, you can pick this video to know how to create a frame window. So once the frame window is created, then we will add other controls into it. So this is the example we are going to create in this video. So this frame window contains AWT label. So this is the first time we are creating the label. In the previous video, we created a um, button and text boxes. I mean the text field. Here, we create a AWT label that tells what is this example is about. Then we create a AWT text field. After that, we create uh, three buttons. So in the previous example, we created one text field and one button, but here we are having uh, three AWT buttons. And in the text window, we want to display which button is clicked by the user. So it will say button one clicked or button two clicked or button three clicked based on the click action produced on your button. So here is the first step. Here we will create the controls for the frame window. As I already know, we need a text field and then three button. Label, we are not declaring it as a class member because we are not going to use label in other part of functions. So once we create it in the constructor, the label will lift intact. So other Control so text field we will we need it in the event handler because we need to set a text to state which button got clicked. So we need these button references also because in the event handler we will check who is the event source. So to know that we need these button references. So that's why we create we are creating it as a class member. Next, in the constructor, we create the label. So we name that label as a button example. After that, we create a text field and the width is a 25 character. Then we create three buttons, button one, button two, and the button three. After creating these uh, components, we are adding it to the frame window. So we are simply calling the add method of the frame window. You have to look at the order in which we are adding these uh, uh, controls. First, we are adding the label, so it will appear first. Then we are adding the text box, so that it will appear next. After that, we are adding the three button, so the button will appear after the text box. All right. Now we will go to the Eclipse and we will create all these component and see how it appears. Then we will go ahead with the uh, action listener part all right here is our uh, frame window 
at present it doesn't have anything so let me close it so here i just changed the size to accommodate uh, the extra label so this is our constructor right let us leave it first we need to create the controls that's all here we declared member variables next in the frame window so this is the frame window constructor our class name is frame window extends from frame and here inside the frame window constructor we are creating the required controls so let me import the label so here we are creating a label then a text field and buttons as already explained in the slide so these are all the controls we are creating after this after this we add these controls to our uh, frame window so let me save this and if i execute it you can see all the controls now so this is our label button example after that we have a text box and then three buttons in it so we will reduce the width so that we have to further reduce it so once you learn the layout it will become easy for now since we have we haven't covered about the layout we are just randomly choosing a different size so that it can fit in three lines all right so 250 holds good then we don't want 170 we will go for 150 all right so now we are fixed with our uh, frame window let us close this so we created the controls and displayed that in a frame window now we will implement the action listener we already saw how to implement action listener because in the previous example we had a text field and a button so we registered the button with the action listener then we handle the action performed here also we are going to do the same once again so we need a uh, action listener so action listener is an interface that we are stating it here our frame window implements an action listener then here we will ask to implement the unimplemented methods now this will add a action performed event that's all here in this step if you see here We are going to add all these all these three button i mean we are going to link all these three button with this uh, action listener action performed so once we end inside this action performed we need a way to know which button produced the event so that we landed up in action performed event handler all right we implemented the action listener in the next step we are going to check the event source so this is our frame window there are three, three buttons here we register all these three buttons with the same action listener since frame window is implementing the action listener we are passing this object that means the current object that means the frame window object which is derived from frame so that object we are passing here why well, because it implemented the action listener so button one button two and button three all are registering to this same action listener 
so the action listener is having the action performed so whatever button user clicks whether it is button 1 or button 2 or button 3 all the buttons will land here at action performed after the click is performed on it so inside the action performed we need to know which button produced the event so if user clicked button 1 it will land here or even if they click button 3 that time also it will land here in the action performed event handler here get source method of the action event if you look at here action event is passed as a parameter so we use this parameter e and make a call to get source and that get source will tell you which button produced the event the get source actually returns an object we need to cast it back to button then we need to compare that with the button one button two and button three just to know which one is the get source whether it is uh, whether the source is button one or button two or button three that way we will check and we will put a corresponding message using the text one dot set text method if you see here first we are using e.get source then we are casting it to button then we are storing that cast reference to event source so the event source is button then we are forming a if construct and we are checking that event source is button one or button two or button three so this will tell which button actually produced the event and so that we can put a relevant message in the text box i mean in the text field right so this is how we will use action performed to check which button is producing the event when there are multiple buttons all right now we will add this code in eclipse and we will test this all right so in a code snippet uh, okay we declared a variable we created the component label text button on button to button three. after that we added that to our frame window then we are registering the button one button two and button three with action listener and we are passing this this means the frame window since this frame window implements action listener it's a valid object to pass here so whenever action is produced on this button and it knows the reference uh, action listener and the action listener is the frame window so it lands up here in the action performed now we will place our code here in the action performed to check which button is producing this action performed event so here we are getting E dot get source e here is the action event from action event we are making call to get source method next we are typecasting it to awt button so this is stored in the event source after that we are checking this event source with the awt button reference which we created uh, in the top I mean in the constructor button one button two button three so this is the reason why we declare the text field and button as class member so we created those in the frame awt frame constructor then here in the action performed event handler i mean the handler function of action listener we are accessing the text as well as button if you see here uh, first we are checking which button is the source of this event after that we use the text field and we are making call to set text to put a relevant text now we will run this so if i click button one it will say button one is clicking if i click three it will say button three click and button two click all right so here what you have to know is all three button is registering to the same listener and there is only one method in the listener 
so inside the listener we need to write a separate handling for based on the condition so here it is just a button on button to button three let us say that um, this is a example which loads a text document and saves a text document if there are two buttons named load and save then we will check the button event source whether it if it is a save then here inside the button one click it we will write the content to save the text document and if it is a load then we will write code for loading the text document so that's how it for it goes when you are writing the uh, awt based uh, user interface that's all here in this uh, video thank you for uh, watching if you like the channel please uh, click the subscribe button bye